Hello friends, welcome once again to these videos that I have been posting for some time. We had a momentary pause for a while, but we want to continue with the same frequency, if possible, that we had before. And I want to invite you to bring other friends to watch these messages that can be of encouragement, of challenge, and always of good profit for all of you who watch them. One statement that I have made many, many times was simply a reminder that all of us human beings are continually challenged to soar like the eagles. In other words, to always aim at the highest that we can reach in our daily living. And many people like to hear that, but unfortunately the result is that they prefer the rat race instead. Well, keep in mind that those who prefer the rat race in many ways remain just a rat, because they'll be going in circles without reaching higher levels of achievement in their daily experience. Along the same lines, I'm reminded of a story that I read many years ago and which stayed with me and which I have used on countless occasions, perhaps known to some of you. It has to do with a parable among many which the Danish 19th century philosopher Søren Kierkegaard used to tell. In fact, if you go to any of his writings, you quickly see how he has so many of these parables that punctuate so many of his writings. This particular one, perhaps one of the most famous, relates to a farm, a goose farm, where a company of barnyard geese congregated weekly and enjoy the conditions in which they had to live. They even designated among themselves, let us call a preacher goose, that every Sunday would gather his congregation and he would preach to them as about the glories of goosedom. And suddenly, from time to time, they would look up because coming down from Sweden, moving towards France for a better climate, there was a band of wild geese making their usual noises and flying in perfect V formation. All of them looked up and the preacher goose would say, this is who we are. This is what we should be. That's precisely our purpose not to live in the conditions which surround us. And yet, after the noise and the visibility of their passage were gone, the geese simply returned to their conditions and they were quite satisfied in remaining just exactly where they were. Sadly, this happens even more frequently with us human beings. We are inwardly aiming at something, but we do nothing to reach those goals, to attain those possibilities. So my challenge to you, obviously, is simply to aim at the highest, to plan for the best, because that is the calling that comes to all of us, not to remain in the conditions that surround us or where we have placed ourselves, but to move ahead, to move higher up, and to invite others to join us in this great adventure as well. 